Minecraft has a lot of rare mobs, blocks and events that can happen. But did you know that some items are even more rare than winning the powerboard jackpot? Yep, things like that exist in Minecraft. And I'm sure you will be amazed when you see that. But let's start off with Minecraft trees. We all have cut down some trees. And while breaking the leaves, I'm sure you have noticed they drop some items. Like saplings, sticks and apples. But what are the odds that one leaf block will drop a sapling, a stick and an apple all at once? Well, we can calculate that. The chance of getting a sapling from the leaf block is 5%, while the chance of a stick is 2%, and the chance of getting an apple is much lower, at 0.5%. Combining the odds that these all happen with the same block, we get 0.0005%, which is 1 in 200,000 chance of happening. And that is super rare. For example, I have only mined 3400 oak leaves in my 5000 days Minecraft world. But let's talk about the ores now. You might think that diamonds are hard to find, but there is actually an ore that is much harder to find, and that is the deep slate coal ore. But why is it so hard? Well, as you can see here, deep slate coal spawns very rarely on the deep slate height. And to get an idea on how rare it really is, remember when we dug out this perimeter? Well, there was 21,700 coal ores here, and only 167 of those were deep slate coal ores. Just for reference, there were over 4,100 diamond ores here as well. So the deep slate coal ores were more than 25 times rarer than the diamond ores. Then we have the axolotls. They only spawn in lush caves and live in the dark, under the water. There are 5 different variants of these little guys, with the rarest being blue. But how rare is it really? Well, I have some good and some bad news. The good news is that you can breed them, which makes getting the rare blue variant a little bit easier. But the bad news is that on average you would need to breed around 1200 times until you get the rarest blue color. Yep, the odds of breeding two random colors and the offspring being blue is 1 in 1200. The other 99.9% .9 of times, literally the odds are 99.9% .9 against you, you will just get the color that is matching one of the parents. So good luck on trying to get your new ultra rare pet. Going to the end and killing the ender dragon is a must do thing in a Minecraft world. So for that you go and find the nearest stronghold. And to your surprise, the portal is already filled with the eyes of ender. That's odd, but yes, that is completely possible, but super rare. And here's how it works. Each end portal frame has a 1 in 10 chance to spawn with an eye of ender, which doesn't seem that unlikely. But keep in mind there are 12 blocks, and this has to happen to every single one of them. So, what are the odds of getting a 10% event happening 12 times in a row? Well, it is 1 in 1 trillion. That is insane, but still, it's a better chance than you finding a girlfriend. Or me. Sheep can naturally spawn in 6 different colors, and most of them are boring shades of grey or brown. Except this one. Yep, a pink sheep can naturally spawn in your world, and it is pretty rare. Only 1 in 641 sheep spawned is pink, but there is an even more rare version of the pink sheep, and that is the baby pink sheep. Only 1 in 12,000 baby sheep will be spawned in the pink color. So if you happen to find one naturally, you are very lucky. Or you can just dye them pink yourself and no one will ever know. But we all know how rare of a biome the mushroom island is. But things get even crazier. On the island you can find these cow looking mobs called mushrooms. And when hit by lightning, they turn into brown mushrooms. That itself isn't very rare. But what is rare is another way you can get the brown mushroom. Just breeding the regular red mushroom cows over and over again, you have a 1 in 1024 chance that the baby will be a brown mushroom. Keep in mind that if you're not lucky enough, your island might look like this after some time. Woodland mansions are rare, even more rare than the mushroom islands. Mansions can often spawn thousands of blocks away from the spawn point. But if you happen to find one, don't count yourself lucky just yet. The real luck is when you can also find the lava room in the mansion. I couldn't find the exact odds, but it is the rarest room in the mansion, and has a diamond block in the middle of it. This is the only place in the game where you can find a naturally generated diamond block. So when you find it, you will also get rewarded. 
Nether fortresses can be a good source of loot, especially if you happen to find a big one. I'm sure you have noticed that finding horse armor in this chest is pretty common. And you are right, horse armor has one of the highest spawning rates in the fortress chest. But how hard is it to find three different horse armors all in one chest? Well, I'll tell you, it's one in 1.9 million chance for this to happen. And while horse armors are pretty boring, it is nice to know how lucky you were if you found it. Lightning is annoying, we all know that. It can burn down your house, turn your villagers into witches and much more. We often see lightning strikes in the distance, but have you ever thought what are the chances of you getting hit by lightning? Well, we can calculate that. Every second in the game, there is a 1 in 5000 chance that the lightning hits a certain chunk. And there are 256 possible blocks in a chunk where the lightning can hit. Combining these two odds, we get that it's in 1 in 1.28 million for the lightning to hit exactly where you are standing. The odds in real life of getting hit by lightning in a year is 1 in 1.2 million. So it's pretty much the same as it is in Minecraft. Minecraft's main menu looks like this, but do you notice anything odd? Still no? Well, take a closer look at the Minecraft text up here. The letters E and C are switched. And no, this is not some kind of a trick. There's actually a 1 in 10,000 chance that when you boot up your Minecraft launcher, the letters will be switched and it says Minzraft. This is a small easter egg by Mojang and you probably don't even notice it when you don't know to look for it. So the next time when you're starting up the Minecraft launcher, you know what to look for. Goats were introduced in Minecraft version 1.17. They usually chill peacefully at the top of the mountains and don't bother anyone except for the one type of goat, the screaming goat. They make this annoying sound and are pretty aggressive. Luckily, they are quite rare and only 1 in 50 goats are the screaming ones. But what's even more rare is to get the specific screaming goat horn. First, you have to find the screaming goat and then you have to hope it drops the right horn. This makes the odds of you getting it 0.5%, which is exactly 1 in 200. Did you know there are thousands of different tropical fish in the sea? Oh, and to be exact, 27,000 different types. I was as surprised as you when I found that out. That is a lot of fish. This makes the odds of getting a specific tropical fish 1 in 27,000. This also means that every tropical fish you have ever caught is probably a unique one. And that is really cool to think about. Creepers are one of the most explosive mobs in Minecraft, but they are not even that bad when comparing it to a charged creeper. They can also generate naturally and I don't even want to think about running into one. However, what are the odds of this happening? Applying the same logic as before, the odds that a lightning will hit right where the creeper is, is 1 in 1.28 million. That's luckily pretty rare, so you are safe, but just for now. Finding a bell in a village is nothing special. We all have probably seen one and played around with it in the past. But have you ever found a bell item in a loot chest? No? That's what I thought. The only place where you can find it is in the ruined portal chest. And the chance is 1 in 66. Meaning if you find 66 ruined portals, only one of them will have the bell in the chest. Mobs are often spawned with different armor pieces. And that's nothing special. Most of the time it is just a piece of gold armor, so anything above it is rare. But how rare exactly? Well, some quick research and calculations say the chance of a zombie spawning with a diamond armor is in 1 in 2500. And to be honest, I would think it's even more rare, since I have only seen a mob with a diamond armor maybe 3 times. Anyway, I can't wait until we have mobs with netherite armor. And I rarely ask this, but be sure to subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye!